Do you want to maintain good ear health? Have you ever thought about how much you rely on your hearing every day? These are questions we seldom ask ourselves, yet our hearing is an essential part of our daily lives, enabling us to communicate, stay safe, and enjoy the world around us. Today we delve deep into the realm of ear health, a topic often overlooked but of significant importance. We'll be shedding light on the importance of maintaining good ear health and the potential consequences of neglecting it. More importantly, we'll be sharing 10 practical, easy-to-follow strategies that can help you maintain and even improve your ear health. From habits as simple as keeping your ears dry to choices like limiting the use of headphones, these strategies are designed to be seamlessly incorporated into your daily routines. So, buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey of sound health and better hearing. Stay tuned to learn valuable strategies for maintaining your ear health. The first strategy is to avoid excessive noise. You might be asking yourself, why is this important? Well, here's the thing. Prolonged or repeated exposure to loud noises can damage the sensitive structures within our ears, leading to noise-induced hearing loss. This doesn't mean you need to live in absolute silence, but being mindful of your noise environment can go a long way in preserving your hearing health. If you find yourself in a situation where loud noises are unavoidable, like at a concert or a construction site, consider using ear protection. Earplugs or earmuffs can significantly reduce the level of sound entering your ears, offering a layer of protection against potentially damaging noise levels. These simple steps can make a big difference in the long-term health of your ears. So remember, protect your ears from loud noises whenever possible. It's a small action with a big impact on your overall well-being. Moving on to the second strategy, keep your ears dry. This simple yet crucial habit can help prevent a common ailment known as swimmer's ear, an infection caused by water remaining in the ear canal. This moist environment is a breeding ground for bacteria, leading to painful inflammation. So how can you keep your ears dry? Here's a tip. After swimming or taking a bath, tilt your head to each side and gently tug on your earlobe to encourage the water to drain out. Using a blow dryer on its lowest setting and held at arm's length can also help dry your ears. But remember, never insert anything into your ear canal, including cotton swabs or your finger, as it can cause damage. It's also a good idea to wear a shower cap or use earplugs when bathing or swimming to prevent water from entering your ears. So always ensure your ears are dry after water exposure. Our third strategy is about the importance of regular checkups. Just like our eyes and teeth, our ears need attention too. Regular ear checkups are not only beneficial, but essential for maintaining good ear health. They allow healthcare professionals to detect any potential issues early, preventing them from becoming serious problems. Imagine a small issue, something as simple as excessive earwax left undetected. Over time, it could lead to hearing loss. But with regular checkups, such issues can be identified and addressed promptly. And it's not just about hearing loss. Regular ear examinations can also help detect infections, ear diseases, and even conditions like tinnitus. Early detection of these conditions can significantly improve treatment outcomes and enhance your quality of life. So, make it a habit to get your ears checked regularly. It's a small step that can have a big impact on your overall ear health. Don't forget, a regular checkup is a key to early detection and prevention. Strategy number four might surprise you. Avoid using cotton swabs in your ears. Now, you might be thinking, but isn't that what they're for? Well, not exactly. When you use cotton swabs, you're not just removing wax, you're pushing some of it further into the ear canal. This can lead to a buildup of wax, potentially causing blockages or damage to your eardrum. Instead, let nature do its thing. Your ears are self-cleaning, and any excess wax will naturally move towards the outer ear where it can be wiped away. If you're feeling discomfort or blockage, it's best to seek professional help instead of trying to tackle it yourself. You can also use over-the-counter ear drops to help soften the wax. So the next time you reach for that cotton swab, think twice. Remember, cotton swabs can do more harm than good. Our fifth strategy is to maintain a healthy diet. Believe it or not, the foods you eat can have a significant impact on your ear health. Certain nutrients, such as vitamins A, C, and E, along with magnesium, can protect your ear health by maintaining the delicate tissues and reducing inflammation. Incorporate foods rich in these nutrients into your diet. Think about leafy green vegetables, citrus fruits, nuts, and seeds. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish like salmon and tuna can also promote good ear health. 
Don't forget to include foods high in potassium, such as bananas and potatoes, which help regulate fluid in your inner ear. It's also important to stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water helps maintain the health of the ear canal, preventing dryness and irritation. And remember, a balanced diet is not just about what you eat, but also about moderation. So a balanced diet is essential for overall health, including your ears. The sixth strategy is about the importance of regular exercise. Now, you might be wondering, how does breaking a sweat relate to our ear health? Well, it's all about blood circulation. Regular exercise, whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or even a dance class can improve your circulation, ensuring that your whole body, including your ears, gets the oxygen and nutrients it needs to function at its best. You see, good circulation is essential for healthy hearing. Our inner ear, particularly the cochlea, relies heavily on a well-oxygenated blood supply. Without it, the delicate hair cells in the cochlea can be damaged, potentially leading to hearing loss. So, whether you're a fan of swimming laps or lifting weights, remember that your exercise routine isn't just doing wonders for your heart and muscles, it's also helping to keep your ears in tip-top shape. So keep moving and keep your ears healthy. The seventh strategy we have for you is to limit the use of headphones. Headphones are a wonderful invention, allowing us to immerse ourselves in music or podcasts while on the go. However, prolonged and loud headphone use can pose a risk to your hearing health. The close proximity of the sound source to your eardrum can cause damage over time, especially if the volume is cranked up high. Here's a tip for safe use. Try to follow the 60-60 rule. This means listening to headphones at no more than 60% of the maximum volume for no more than 60 minutes a day. Also, consider switching to over-the-ear headphones, which are generally considered safer than in-ear models because they sit further away from your eardrums. And remember, it's important to give your ears a break from time to time. So, use headphones wisely to prevent potential ear damage. Strategy number eight is quite straightforward. Quit smoking. Now, you might ask, how does smoking affect our ears? Well, it's all about blood flow. Our ears require a healthy, consistent flow of blood to function optimally. Smoking, unfortunately, hampers this as it constricts blood vessels, reducing the amount of oxygen that reaches the ear. Over time, this can lead to a range of hearing issues, from tinnitus, that annoying ringing in your ears, to more serious conditions like hearing loss. Furthermore, the thousands of chemicals found in cigarettes can also damage the delicate cells within our ears. This is particularly true for the hair cells in our cochlea, which play a crucial role in transmitting sound signals to our brain. Once these cells are damaged, they do not regenerate, potentially leading to permanent hearing loss. So, for the sake of your ears, consider quitting smoking. The ninth strategy is to stay hydrated. It might seem surprising, but hydration plays a pivotal role in maintaining good ear health. Our body is a complex system, and each part is interconnected. When we're adequately hydrated, our body functions optimally, and this includes our auditory system. Water is crucial for the production of a very important fluid in our body, the lymph fluid. This fluid circulates throughout our body, including our ears, carrying essential nutrients and removing waste. When we're dehydrated, the lymph fluid becomes thick and less efficient, which can lead to a buildup of toxins and potentially affect our hearing. It's recommended to drink at least eight glasses of water each day. Of course, the exact amount may vary depending on individual needs, but this is a good starting point. So, for the sake of your hearing and overall health, don't forget to drink your water. Remember, staying hydrated is essential for your overall health, including your ears. The final strategy is to ensure you're up to date with your vaccinations. Vaccinations play an essential role in maintaining overall health, including our hearing health. Certain diseases like measles, mumps, and meningitis can have serious consequences for our hearing abilities. They can lead to conditions like sensorineural hearing loss or even deafness. Vaccinations serve as a protective shield, preventing these diseases from ever taking hold. By staying current with your vaccine schedule, you're not just guarding against immediate illness, you're also preserving your ability to hear the world around you. For older adults, the shingles vaccine is particularly important. Shingles can lead to hearing loss, balance issues, and a painful condition known as Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By taking a proactive approach and getting vaccinated, we can help protect our hearing from potential damage caused by these diseases. So keep your vaccinations up to date to protect your hearing.
We've covered a lot of ground today, discussing 10 strategies for maintaining good ear health. We've delved into the importance of avoiding loud noises and keeping our ears dry. We've highlighted the significance of regular checkups and why cotton swabs should be a no-no for our ears. We've also explored the role a healthy diet and regular exercise play in ear health. Furthermore, we've discussed the need to limit the use of headphones, quit smoking, stay hydrated, and get vaccinated. Each strategy is a piece of the puzzle, contributing to the overall health of our ears. Remember, every small step you take can make a big difference. So, let's start taking these steps today, shall we? Remember, your hearing is precious. Take the necessary steps to protect it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more health tips.